On this day, we honor all veterans, even the four-legged ones. Yeah, News 2's Ashley Yo spent some time in North Charleston today with some dogs being certified in explosives detection. Now, Ashley, you met one dog that actually served in Afghanistan. Yes, we spent the day at the Carter Maintenance Facility where several law enforcement agencies were there certifying a range breed of dogs from Dutch Shepherds to German Shepherds, Labrador Retrievers, and the dogs were sniffing around inside and outside the Carter buses in a mock bomb detection event. We heard the story of one of these dogs who was a veteran and a hero. This is Gage. Ah, it's a good boy! Yes, it is! It's a good boy! Gage is a veteran and now works as an explosive detection dog for the Charleston County Sheriff's Office. But today's environment is a change from where he originally trained. Gage served with the Marine Corps in Afghanistan for three years. They use the dogs to clear the areas before they go through them. So over there they would send the dog out far ahead of them and he would search back towards them, you know, making sure that the route or uh, whatever it is that they're trying to go through that is clear of uh, explosives. The odors are the same for Gage as he sniffs to pass part of his certification on these Carta buses. The biggest difference is the leash. In Afghanistan, he was cut loose to patrol a much larger area. But Brinson says Gage does not seem to mind the change. Just a little slower life here than it is over in Afghanistan. Gage has transitioned to his new job back in the States and passed his certification today with rave reviews from organizers. Uh, this dog flourished in a standoff detection mode. He's used to working off lead in desert environments and uh, working away from his handler and uh, locating IEDs and explosive devices. Gage is a hero. Yeah. And American lives would be different without his service. He had three IED fines while he was over there, so he saved a few lives. And uh, wow. he's an explosive detection dog. And I asked if dogs like Gage ever experience any PTSD-type symptoms after serving in places like Afghanistan. He said yes, some can't, and they've seen it in the past, but he hasn't seen any of those symptoms in Gage. When he's not sniffing explosives, he's just like any other happy dog. Live in studio, I'm Ashley Yost, News 2.